What's up YouTubers, Jose Quinones de CNC Do here. Hey, I want to do a quick video to show you how you can use a three-phase BLDC motor driver to drive two brush DC motors. And I know you're saying, uh, what? Well, yeah, you heard correctly. We are going to use a three-phase BLDC motor driver to drive two brush DC motors. Let me show you. Before you think I'm doing a uh, dark magic here, let me show you, I have two brush DC motors, these two little guys, and they're connected to my three-phase inverter. It is kind of important how they are connected. So each one of these colors, yellow, red, and black, is one phase, UBW, for a three-phase BLDC motor. So what I have done is that I have connected my two brush uh, motors in such a way that I'm shedding one of the phases, uh, let's say the center, half H bridge, for both motors and then a single half H bridge for the other side of the motor. Perhaps you already know where I'm going with this, but if not, stay tuned. In order to visualize what we're doing here, I'm gonna show you my three PWMs, so phase U, V, and W PWMs, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the center a 50% duty cycle, and then I'm gonna move the other two legs uh, between zero and 100. But that basically what I'm doing is that I am applying half of my voltage to both motors, to one leg in both motors, and then I'm changing the voltage on the other one from zero to 100%, in this case, uh, from zero to 15 volts. So the center legs is basically half of 15 volts, which is 7.5, and these guys are going from zero to 15. What's gonna happen is, let me show you, I'm gonna turn all of my all of my uh, uh, PWMs on, and now I'm gonna move this guy. As you can see, that guy is moving in one direction, and I control, I can control the speed, and then if I go the other way, I control the direction, and I can also control the speed, because I'm changing the magnitude, so I'm increasing my voltage from 7.5 to 15, and in here from 7.5 to zero. So the motor is seeing voltage, uh, positive and negative voltages with respect to 7.5 volts. So now I do it on the other guy. As you can see, I can do the exact same thing. So with three half H bridges, we can control two brush DC motors. The trick, however, is that the center half H bridge is gonna, is gonna have to take the current of both half H bridges, okay? Um, I mean, both, uh, both legs. So all of the current is gonna flow through this guy. So when this guy is at maximum current, all of the current is going through the center tap, so uh, through the center half H bridge. So this guy must be able to handle that guy. Now, once you know, once you understand this algorithm, now you can start playing with the code inside of the microcontroller and you can say, you know what, I don't want to be dealing with two PWMs, I just want to set up one magnitude and just control both motors at the same time. So for example, I can start moving this guy and now both of my motors are moving at the same speed and in the same direction. Now there is a little bit of, um, because each motor is different, they are not gonna move at the exact same speed, so that's why uh, you would need to add a little bit of a, um, some kind of a, a factor to make them the same, or you can just close the loop with a shaft encoder and let the microcontroller do that for you. Uh, but I wanna show you that you can also control the direction of, so right now, basically this robot is only gonna move forward and backward. So what if you want to do some kind of a curve? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make both go at the same time, and I'm gonna do an offset, a little bit of an offset that changes which motor is going faster than the other so that, that way you can turn okay go one way or the other um and now you can do play something like this and now this guy goes faster and the other one goes slower and that's what you would do to control the turns uh so that the robot can move both forward backwards but also left and right and so on, okay? This is something that I put uh, real quick together to show how you can use a three-phase BLDC motor driver to drive two brush DC motors. Um, 
but uh, but you know you can put a little bit more effort into making this perfect, uh, and you, you you can add chaffing colors and do a whole bunch of uh, different things. Well, YouTubers, I hope you found this quick tip uh, fun, easy to follow, and useful. Uh, it's just to showcase the power behind three-phase build similar drivers, you know, and the power packs. The power packs are so flexible because there is a microcontroller inside which you can tailor to whatever you want. In this case, I used a motor that was intended for three-phase build DC motors to drive two-phase, uh, I'm sorry, two-brush DC motors. Yeah, and there is an algorithm in, uh, in which you could use the same board to drive a bipolar slipper. If you think about it, using the same concept. Uh, thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. Hope you found this useful. Feel free to comment or ask questions in the comments below. And uh, I'm going to see you on the next one. Have a good one.